Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 2nd of 2022. Well, it is titled Supernova Cannon Expels Pulsar J0002. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a supernova remnant that we see, a remnant of a star that would have been seen to explode 10,000 years ago or so. And the remnant here represents the destruction of a star in a massive explosion. And what happened for some reason that we don't completely understand is that the neutron star core was expelled outward and expelled out into the galaxy itself. So often we see the neutron star remains at the center of the uh, remnant. And we see that in things like the Crab Nebula. But here we see this, uh, the pulsar out to the lower left, that stream is the trail as it expels out away from the supernova. Now this is what we call a pulsar, a neutron star can be seen as a pulsar. Uh, when a neutron star spins rapidly, in this case, almost nine times every second, it can give off bursts of rate of energy that we can see. So that was what we can detect there. And in fact, this was detected through a software that can be run on home computers. And that is the Einstein at home uh, pro project, which is used to detect things like this by searching through the massive amounts of data that are collected by some of the telescopes. So some of it is just so much data that it is difficult to analyze. And projects like this allow for interesting things that may be otherwise missed to actually be detected by home computers that then let the Astronomers know that there might be something interesting here to follow up on. And here we do see one of those now imaged with radio observations from things like the VLA, the Very Large Array, and from the infrared satellites studying this to study this area to be able to image it in better detail. But it was that software on a home computer that first brought attention to this um, object. So continuing to study, maybe we'll be able to better learn how these supernovae can act as a cannon expelling out a pulsar like a cannonball and figure out the process that actually causes something like this to occur. And as we can find more instances of it, perhaps we can find the common cause as what the difference is between this supernova and others that we have seen. So that was our picture of the day for October 2nd of 2022. It was titled Supernova Cannon Expels Pulsar J0002. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Flyby Europa. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.